I'm here with Ty Burrell from Modern Family in Duncanville. Ty, uh, I understand uh, you were born in a pretty small town called Grants Pass, Oregon, and spent your childhood in some small towns nearby. What was it like growing up there? It's a beautiful area. Um, it is. It was logging country. Mm -hmm. It is now wine country. Well, we love small towns on this show. I think you probably know that since you watch the show every night. But in fact, <laughs> we have a segment. We have a segment on the show called Community Calendar where we highlight uh, actual upcoming events happening in smaller communities around America. Would you maybe like to do it with me? Well, Steve. Great, I because it's time for Grants Pass Oregon's Community Calendar. <laughs> Welcome to Community Calendar, your source for what's happening in and around Grants Pass and the greater Josephine County area. Joining me is native Grants Passian, Ty Burrell. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> you know what we say in Grants Pass, Oregon, if you're granted a chance to visit, don't pass <laughs> it up. Or uh, gonna regret it. So here are some actual events going on this month around Grants Pass. Tomorrow, head over to the Lincoln Road Veterinary Clinic, where they'll be offering non-anesthetic teeth cleaning for dogs, <laughs> which should leave plenty of anesthetic for the vets who get their fingers bitten off. On March 7th, head to the Josephine Community Library for their event, Treats for Teens. Reminder, this event is inside the library. <laughs> If someone in the parking lot is offering treats for teens, call the police. Are you a morning person that loves skeet shooting? No, who isn't, Stephen? Well, then on March 14th, head over to Rogue Valley Sporting Clays for their wake-up shoot. Far less controversial than last year's event, skeet shooting while you sleep. On March 14th and 15th, make your way to the Rogue Creamery for the Oregon Cheese Festival, an event celebrating cheese and everything that goes with it. So, farts. <laughs> On March 14th at the Josephine County Fairgrounds, it's the Enlightened Living Fair, featuring Reiki, tarot, astrology, hypnotherapy, and acupuncture. And rest assured, every person that offers a product or service has submitted two references. <laughs> so don't you worry, that lady shoving needles in your face knows at least two people. <laughs> On March 13th at the Vice Brewing Company, check out the Baby Mama Drag Show. One of the drag performers is expecting, so they're asking for donations of diapers, wipes, or clothes. It's a girl! <laughs> yes, girls' clothes only. The Baby Mama Drag Show is very serious about traditional gender roles. Head over to the Alibi Tavern on March 8th for the 2020 Southern Oregon Battle of the Bands. This year's lineup includes Autopilot Miscreants, Beyond the Tide, and Death Plant. <laughs> Tickets are just $5, and kids 10 and under are free. <laughs> Great news for all those nine-year-old fans of Death Plant. <laughs> On March 27th and 28th, the Rise Aerial Dance Studio presents Women Rising, a night of circus and dance. Well, sounds like a great night out with the kids. I'm afraid not. This circus involves burlesque, so it's adults only. <laughs> okay, but will they still have cotton candy? Oh, yes. She'll be there. <laughs> On March 21st, get ready for Dine in the Dark, where you can enjoy a four-course meal in complete <laughs> darkness. For added fun, dinner will be served at Rogue Barbershop. <laughs> so come on down and reach for a fork accidentally grab the scissors, stab yourself in the mouth, then drink a bottle of Barbicide. <laughs> On March 22nd, Baldini's Restaurant is hosting a fundraiser for the Humane Society called the Spaghetti Dinner. 
All proceeds go to the spay and neuter programs. So come for the spaghetti. Do not eat the meatballs. Well, that does it for Grants Pass, Oregon's community calendar. As we like to say, who is Grant and what is he passing? We'll never know. Check out Duncanville Sunday nights on Fox. Tiberell, everybody. We'll be right back.